Hello and welcome back. This is Double Debbie and this is episode 13 of Sto Stone Block for Minecraft. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't even talk. Today we finally got our pink slime bucket. Oh yes. <laughs> and we're going to finally get our stonework factory to do the dust for us. Uh, and it'll be awesome. Um, also, I want to work on a small side quest while we're waiting for this little slime to spawn for us. So let's let's do it. I don't think it'll take very long. This is just random. It could spawn immediately or it might take a couple of minutes. So you just never know. Uh, and I have all the stuff and things ready. And I opened a bunch of bags from the mob system. And I got another tier 3 growth crystal. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to have to dig another room. <laughs> okay, so. The quest I want to work on is uh, involving some storage upgrades. And I've gotten all of these from loot bags. Uh, I haven't made any of them. Uh, so let's see. Leave. Oh, and and another thing I want to do, I want to talk about is um, the drawer system. How I had it set up with uh, the drawer controller by the gravel, and then a slave over for the dust. I had to redo that because the slave. Uh, was too far from the drawer controller. So I've moved the drawer controller to in between those two spots and made another slave to go in place of the original controller. So there's two slaves now, one controller in the middle. They're both, both slaves are in range of the drawer controller. So even though there's nothing hooked up directly to the, the controller, it's still reading all of the drawers because they're connected with the trim. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to mention that before I forgot. Oh, there we go. Hello, little slimy boy. Oh, they got so many hit points. There's our pink slime. Oh, yeah. So, that was the last piece we were waiting for. Um, what's this? Dun, 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 dun. Awesome. So that happened a lot quicker than what I thought. So I don't even have this completely hooked up. So yeah, this, it's going to start producing cobblestone. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that off for right now. Uh, Feel right up with the power. So we're going to change this to the grind mode three times and I think we have to do something with these um, because we don't want it to output until it gets to this step. Uh, so we're, we're going to just... Uh, Shut everything off. Oh, and we, I guess we should do this one too. Did I do that one? Okay. So this one should be the row that it has the dust on. Let's let it go and see how it does it. Yeah. Now the dust is starting to build up. Awesome. Oh. Um, let's go do this quest while that's working. It actually... It's pretty fast. I don't know. I don't know. I think there's also... A, I'm not sure if there... Uh, if there are speed upgrades. Huh. 
So that's interesting. It looks like maybe you can put that in there and it will push items out to an inventory below. That's what it looks like. And that looks like it'll pull from down. Oh, nice. So you could feed it things. Uh, but what I want, that's fluid transfer, leaf shearing. No, what I was wanting was to see if there was like a speed. That's for conveyor belt. So it doesn't look like there's a speed upgrade. So we might need to make uh, multiples of those. We'll see how it goes. See how the sieves keep up with it. Uh, this might actually, one of them might actually keep up with it because it's, it takes a sieve a while to go through one action on the sieve or one complete thing. It's like 10 clicks, so it takes it a little while. So it might be able to keep it up, keep up with it. Uh, let's say always active there. Okay, so yeah, I've gotten all of these through quests. Or, I mean, not quests, the, the bags. Uh, and all we need is to... Oh, how come it's saying that it's incomplete? Oh, wait, let's detect it. Maybe it's not seen it until we do the storage upgrade for obsidian. Uh, these are storage upgrades, yeah. Um, which just, no wait, that's a void upgrade. We just need two obsidian and some sticks. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go get the two obsidian from this chest over here. <laughs> Ah, he's got an iron helmet. Uh, because we got some, and it just won't go in our hopper over there because there's not enough room. Give me your helmet. Ah, why? Why you smacked me so? Oh, he did not give me his helmet. Look at all that. Um,. I mean, there's so many things we need to work on. <sighs> okay, we need some sticks. Uh, like uh, getting getting the sorting system from you know this chest to where it sorts it into that and and like opens the bag. That's something that I want to do. Get the uh, that a little bit more automated, but. I think I'll wait until I like uh, redo that mob system because we can make it bigger. Um, I don't know that I'll keep the industrial foregoing mob grinder on there uh, because it is good for pink slime, but you can also get um, mob essence if you use the actual mob grinder. There is a mob grinder. See, this is the mob slaughter factory. This is the one that gives you the meat and the slime. But if you use the mob crusher, that's different. That's specifically just for mobs. You could actually use the mob slaughter factory on animals, I think. Um, but this one is specifically for mobs, and I think it gathers experience as well. Let's see if we hold shift. Uh... Oh, I guess it could. I guess it could. But there are so many ways to kill the mobs in this mod pack that it's hard to choose which one. Like, um, because this one would take power. Um, so, if you look at... Is it, is it grinder? Oh yeah, this one right here, the mob grinding utilities is awesome. Uh, you can upgrade it with all sorts of stuff and it doesn't take power. You can turn it off and on with the redstone signal. Uh, I'll probably switch over to that once I get 
a little bit more of the pink slime built up uh, because in case I need another one of those machines. Oh, right. oh, that was from <laughs> extra buckets from the the stonework factory. So, yeah, there we go. There, yeah. Now it saw it. Okay, so that's the quest that I wanted to do. I've been holding that stuff in my bag for quite a while now, wanting to do that. And I figured while we were waiting on the pink slime, we'd get it knocked out real quick. And the pink slime <laughs> went a little bit faster than what I originally thought. So, there we go. Let's see what's in our bag. Oh, yeah, two more speed upgrades. Mama life. Oh, yeah. Because we're getting low on those. Um, these, I, what, what, I think I want to use one of these right now. You don't have, like in, we used Java before, you would have to step up your upgrades where you would have to have the tier one upgrade before you put the tier two on and the tier two before you put the tier three on. But this is not like that. You could put the, the tier five upgrade that uses emeralds on it right away. And if you just hold shift, you can see it has all of these slots and you could put emerald upgrades in every single one of them. I need to do this because I've had this cobble on me and I haven't been able to <laughs> empty it even though I had two storage drawers over here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and... <laughs> uh, that should do me for a little while. I could probably put both of those in the one. I don't know, I sort of like having to... Maybe I'll take that out. And put them over here and then use that for like stone because I really need to start making some stone actually I need the whole I need the whole kit and caboodles on those because that's not going to smelt up very much that one up there. Get rid of those buckets. I can't believe I got another one of those. That is crazy. I was really hoping I would have gotten another one of the the specter coils so I could put it on on the the battery down there so that it could go a little bit faster, but it's going <laughs> and I'm getting stuff so I'm happy uh, with that. Let's go ahead and put that other stack in here. And we'll get two stacks going. Oh yeah. That is just awesome. Okay, so I got a couple of things I need to do. I need to get some more of the pipes to hook that up. And then I have to set it up the way we set this one up to activate the block with the item. Right click, random slot. I need to remember that. Okay. Activate block with item. Okay, there we go. So now all we have to do, because this is probably full. Yeah, look at that. Uh, is send this up there. Okay. Except I need the transfer node because that's not going to work. Boy. Oh, great. I have one already made. That's awesome. Okay, so there's also a filter I need to set up, but I can't do that until, um, until I get some of the bits and bobs. All right, so that should start. Yeah, there we go. This should start feeding. 
There it is. It takes it a minute because these are slow without any upgrades. And our little energy cell here is completely full as well. Let's go ahead and uh, take that over there so the other one can be charging up as well. So <laughs> this is going to be sifting now. It's ready to go. But let's come up here and look and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so that block right there used to be the controller, but now it's a slave. Or it used to be the drawer controller. And I moved the drawer controller here so it's in range, because it only has like a 12 block range. And this was like 16 to this one. So by moving it in the middle, it can now get to both spots and work. Because <laughs> it wasn't working before. So now, this should be getting the stuff and things. Um, I might need to put like an, an upgrade in this so that it will pull out faster. Uh, so what I need is I need the gold ore pieces, the silver, and the nickel. And this isn't actually connected yet because I ran out of pipes. So I need to get this filter out and put those pieces in there because I want to send them to that chest. Okay, so you go back in there. Oh, redstone. So, yeah, I'm pro since this has nine items coming out of it, I probably need to go ahead and get an upgrade for it. I'm going to go ahead and do that now before I forget. Uh... I think I think one upgrade might be enough we'll see we'll see actually let's go ahead and take all four of them just in case it's not fast enough I don't think it'll it's gonna like back it up or anything. But it's only like pulling one item out at a time, so Oh yeah, look at how how much faster even that works. So we might go ahead and put put another one over here for this one. Oh, this one isn't going to work <laughs> because uh, it's not connected. So this is just going to send that gold ore over to here. And this is already set up to pull the chunks out and process them. Uh, through this filter because I was using uh, this one sieve system to I, I would occasionally come and throw gravel uh, well throw sand or dust in it so it's already set up to pull all of the nine different types of ore out and uh, this system because when you grind up gold there's a small chance you get a piece of platinum. So that's where we got the platinum from. You have to get that um, in there or it will stick your system up. Why are you not going? Why is the tin? Oh, because it's got osmium in there? But I have the room for osmium. Oh, 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 I see what happened. Uh, this is a slave right here, and now it's out of range of the drawer controller, which is all the way over there. Oh, man. 
Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to have to rethink this. Um... I could... Could just feed it, drag the pipe up to, is it here? Okay, let's go back here until we hit that block. Uh, we could just take this whole thing out and replace it with pipe and feed it up into this slave. further there we go and then if I just boink boink drag this up doink. no not to you not to you That's the new slave, so that should work. And I'll need a torch back here. Almost out of torches. All right, so that should have unclogged it. Awesome, okay. <laughs> I didn't even realize that that, um, I'd forgotten that that was a slave over there. So there we go. All of that's working again. We have an extra slave if we need it. Oh, and this, um, this might need an upgrade now too, since it does have to go a lot farther. It, it does look like it's being really slow. Let's give it two. So the further it has to travel before it finds the block, the slower it goes. So there we go. That should be working again. I'm glad I noticed that. I'm surprised nothing was... It is a little bit clogged up there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. That's where the clog up was. Um, I might need to just go ahead and uh, let that I hate these little guys okay he's going to drown I hate those little poison guys uh, yeah I'm going to go ahead and turn this off Uh, while that's cleaning that, <laughs> processing all those metals that is backed up over there. Oh, and I'll probably need to do this one too. Oh, look, yeah. I don't think we're going to need more than one of these. It seems to be... Oh, well, there was a backup of it. We'll need to... Let's just... Um... Turn this one off. If, this means it won't work unless there's a redstone signal. So since it doesn't have a redstone signal, it's just going to shut it off. So <laughs> that'll allow that machine to process all of those things. And let's go place uh, this battery. Oh look, he dropped a bag. So nice of him. We'll put this one in its place and tell it to send out through the back. And then we can go plug this one up and let it charge for a while. How you doing over here? So I guess I can put that in there. Some my tools. 
and let's go ahead and put that slave in there and the growth crystal and those pipes throw that up there oh and we can uh boink. all right now we can go plug in this other battery And it looks like this machine is only pulling enough from just one machine. And this, how's this going? Oh, look at all that plastic. I could probably get this to feed into... Um, another block that would compress it um, but you know really the, it's pretty slow if I had multiples of this <laughs> uh, it would it would work but okay um, yeah, if I had multiples, it might require an automation setup, but I don't. I just have the one, so it, it's not going to be a problem for me to come back here and grab it every once in a while and craft it up myself. Uh, maybe if we need more later than just the, the little bit, it might be okay uh, to, you know, to do something like that. But for now, I don't think we'll, we'll need it. All right, so we got this little guy back here. Uh, it's only one. It's only 128 RF a tick. Let's do this after all. So I'm trying to think... Um, there's actually three cobble gens over here feeding to them. I, I think that might be a little bit of overkill. We might only need one. Especially since um, we probably don't need all these speed upgrades because the power uh, is getting chewed up too fast. So let's try taking half of those out. That'll raise our GP up. We won't be using as much. Uh, but this probably won't use as much power, maybe. I honestly, uh, since it's going slower, technically it's going to use less power over time. But what I want is we we may even be able to I'd like to see these start going up it looks like all of them are uh, maybe we'll even lower it to two I don't know if that, um, if that, the only penalty for using this is, I mean, I think the power consumption is per use, not, uh, per second, you know, so it's not gaining me power by going faster because the the power consumption is based off of every time it goes through the cycle of processing that one cobble so I think it's like 4,000 RF so it doesn't matter how fast or how slow it's going it's going to consume 4,000 RF for uh, one cobblestone 
so l slowing it down will cause it to consume less power over time. So maybe this will actually start filling up eventually, but uh, what I'm gonna do probably is just go ahead and tear this up. Um, I'm trying to think. I might need to go back one more. And we're going to need some more Eulorium uh, to make to make the lava. So yeah, I think if I have the crucibles back here up against this wall over the Eulorium, uh, I can have, I can take like one of those cobble gins and stick them over here and then feed all three of them off of that one. And then pull the lava out into three more magmatic guys that will sit on this line and then they'll be connected to these power cables. So we won't need to change anything. And let's go ahead and, um, and you wanna make sure you don't break the specter coil with an empty hand. You wanna use your pick. <laughs> I lost a specter coil. I had two and I lost one because I broke it with a fist. It was no good. So, let's get to do do. Um, I think if I take one of these cobble gins, the others will make up for it. Oh, dude. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna knock pipe off. I thought I was just going to get the filter. So they got two others going over there. So I think that'll be good enough. Two of them should feed all of that. So we'll just put one here. Oh, and we actually have that. Uh, we don't have the pipes though. And we'll have to go see. I'm going to have to fill that back in because uh, that's got red X's. And when I go out of range, they'll be able to spawn. So let's go throw this battery on top of here. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Sweet. Okay, so what we got to do is go check on all the Eulorium. I probably am not going to have enough. Because I'm not automatically sifting. See. <gasps> no, I have enough for two, though. Oh, give it to me. I have enough for two so I do need more sand though uh, the good thing is is now that I, I probably won't have to do it by hand since we have the system shut off this should have some sand built up over here oh no because it's still it's still filling this up Well, what I could do is turn this off for a second and just make it stop at sand. And it's not going to ship it out or anything. So 
Once that gets a couple of stacks, I'll throw it in. I'll throw it in here. Actually, my, oh no, they're both kind of full. I'll throw it in this one, I guess, and turn it back on and start building some more up uh, so that we can get a little bit more power for our system. So that's what, I, oh, what are you doing in here, you stupid zombie? This is my home. You can't just come in here. You can't. No. Bad. Bad pigman. Bad. Oh, look at all this stuff and things. I think that uh, picked some stuff up. Yeah. I don't want that in there. What is this? Osmium leggings and a glowstone helmet. Boink! Um, yeah, I think I'll put it back here. Oh, no, no, I want that. Let me have that back. So that um, spectacle definitely helped out early on, but it did not take long at all for us to ex to need way more than 128 RF to tick. And we might see some more of those um, after we automate the mob farm. But I think it's, it's going to be few and far between um yeah let's, let's get our tiny charcoal out for this yeah they're gonna be few and far between until we get that automated and it and we start opening them um Let's see if we can do like an easy quest to end our episode. I think we could do these crates pretty easily. The iron storage crate and then um, the gold and the diamond and possibly even, let's just do this whole thing right here. I think it should go fairly quickly. The iron storage crate. Let's just look at crates. Oops, not crater. This is the small storage crate, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this down here. So it's just going to take a chest, not a shulker box, a chest. That's just any chest. If you look at the bottom, it says except any chest. Uh, so we're going to need to go get our iron and pull the wood out of here. So we can make some chests. So I think we need iron, gold, and diamond. Alright, let's look at this. What do we need? We need a chest. Uh, there is an additional recipe in this mod pack that allows you to make four chests out of logs in the same shape as a chest, so... I know I'll use the chest, so might as well. Oh, and we need the logs. Yeah. There we go. Bada bing bada boom. Okay, there's the iron one. And I think the gold one takes the iron one. Oh, we need some more. Let's just make up a little bit of that. Need some more planks. And there's the gold one. And then what's the diamond one? Just takes four diamonds. Okay. Um. These are pretty cool because 
their large inventories and they keep their inventory when you break them so you could put like wood in there oh it's gonna take uh oh you picked it up you little turd <laughs> so and it uh says it doesn't say in there like um the thermal expansion ones will tell you that it has stuff in it and it will list it but this one doesn't oh i actually got that one haha <laughs> i'm sneakier than you all right and the last one on there is for the quantum storage unit which if you look at the the uses for the diamond storage crate by pushing you while you're hovering over it is basically uh you just add the diamond storage crate some iron and obsidian around it and it makes a quantum storage unit oh and they have a quantum bag that's pretty cool i did not know that okay so let's go and get some obsidian i can't wait to start getting uh, a storage system and hooking all this stuff in to everything all together so i can access it all from one place because it is getting kind of tedious running all the way up there and then all the way back down and yeah you get this you get the drift don't you and then we did oh, a paint mixer quantum storage unit there we go and that finishes that whole chain and gives us four bags loot chest to open yes So what I'm probably going to work on uh, in between episodes is to maybe automate the farms over there. More Black Lotus. Wow, I've got 32. Um, these are pretty cool. Uh, we'll be able to start getting into those someday, maybe. <laughs> Uh, the quantum storage unit is pretty cool. It's like a big barrel. It'll only store one item, but look, it will store that much <laughs> of one item. Right now it's holding air and it's 0% full. Uh, but yeah, that's... Two billion? Is that right? yes yes I think it is two billion it's hard to see because all the numbers there's so many <laughs> two billion items of one thing uh, so that's pretty nifty uh, it's a really really big barrel <laughs> I don't know um, like, like this, this thing went from holding 32 stacks to 1,024 stacks. Uh, so that is quite an upgrade with just one. Will it go to like 2,000 or is it on some type of algorithm? Yeah. Okay, so that just doubled it. So with three, four, five, six, seven thousand stacks. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't, I don't know that 7,000 stacks. Well, technically, if you wanted to store that many, you could put uh, a void upgrade on the, the last one. So it only hold like 6,000 stacks and then destroy anything else. I don't know what I would need 6,000 stacks of, but if I did, 
I could just destroy the lip. You know, like if it was just flint or something, you know, like before, you would get tons and tons of flint and it would all be wasted because you wouldn't really need flint for anything. So yeah. So we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I'm going to do some off camera work. Um, I'm going to work on the power system over here. Uh, uh, I'm going to get the sand and get it sieved up. Let's go check on it. Maybe it's got some over here. Oh yeah, let's grab that. And we'll get this one. Uh, put it in here. And then go ahead and turn this one back on. Uh, so we'll check and see how, how it's doing on having those, if it's caught up on uh, all those materials. Oh yeah, wow, nice. So it didn't take it long to get caught up. So now it's all back in order. <laughs> Sweet. Put all this stuff away. Oh, that's awesome. No, I don't want you. So, uh, I am going to make probably another three of these guys and put them over there uh, because I know these, um, this sieve setup, well, technically it was drained out of power, so it wasn't going as fast as it could. So, this, this thing can process it faster than this system was putting out. So we need to give it more power. We need more power. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get some more Eulorium so that that'll get our lava uh, pretty fast. It's not as fast as it can be, but it is pretty decent uh, for us. So I'm going to get like some more crucibles. I got some dust over here that I uh, banged out before so that I could use it for clay for whatever reason if I needed clay because I needed it for the sink and I didn't have any so I went ahead and got some up. So I'm going to make clay so I can get some crucibles and we have um, we have bone meal a little bit up there but we have bones coming in from our uh, mob system Oh look, I think we got enough for another pink slime. Uh, we have plenty of bones, six stacks, so we'll have plenty to make the crucibles to make the porcelain clay. <laughs> they're worshiping the emerald muncher. Look at him, they're all just standing around staring at him. I guess because he sells seeds and you know, parrots are birds and they like to eat seeds. This is just, oh, anyway, I'll be working on that. It's just um, basic materials to get those magmatic crucibles, uh, iron, gold, redstone, and oh yeah, let's, let's go ahead and turn this one back on because that'll start getting us redstone. Always on. Uh, because we were desperately low. We're, I think I was down to like 20 redstone before. So let's go look. And see if we've gotten any extra. Oh, already got over a stack. A stack and a half in there. Oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> okay, so redstone problem solved and look we got seven stacks of bone meal over there okay we don't need to cut down any bones that's amazing okay so we got the stuff coming in oh did i not turn yeah it's going it's just slow see see how slow it is plus it it had been backed up for a while uh, so yeah so there we have it. We got our dust coming in. We got redstone. We're going to be uh, working on getting more power 
to make this system more efficient because it's it could be producing more items if it was producing more gravel because if uh, you let it run for a while it'll catch up and then you'll see like or I was seeing that it would have a full one and then the next one would only have like five in it and then it would have a full one and then the next one would only have five in it or less or sometimes it would be five twice in a row but anyway it just wasn't completely full <laughs> so hopefully getting our power upgraded if we just had the one one magmatic furnace with two upgrades would put us to 120 RF a tick for one magmatic furnace that would put us to the level that we were at when we had the spectra coil on it so what we want is we want more than that so we're going to go ahead and we're going to make the three magmatic crucibles uh to produce power so that should be 360 rf a tick that'll triple our power output and hopefully get those crushers crushing the gravel for us even faster and i will monitor um I'm gonna let these run for a while and I'm gonna see how well the the stonework factory keeps up with this sieve system to see if we need another one or possibly two. I don't know though, uh, but it did, did get to build things up for a while so it's gonna take it a while to use all that stuff up. Uh, <laughs> so yeah very long-winded um, exit for the video uh, so yeah next time ooh, what are we gonna work on maybe we'll start in on mystical agriculture now that we've got the basics down for our, our uh, resources coming in automatically Oh, maybe we should work on the sorting system for the mob trap. No, nope. I want to get some farming stuff automated because uh, I would like to make a kitchen and make different food. There's so many more food and I mean there are more Pam's recipes that I've never seen before. There are recipes from different mods that are super duper awesome. Even more awesome than these awesome apples. <laughs> and I think those apples are, I mean, those are really solid food. And, and there's just, just so many cool foods and I want to make all of them. <laughs> I want to make all of them. Uh, so yeah, I would like to I'd like to get some automation for the farms going so we can get um, crops incoming so we have stuff to cook with. And uh, I'll need to dig out some more because I want to uh, I want to go add on another row of rooms this big on the other side. So we'll have like two more sections for farms over there and then the one in the middle opposite of this one can be like the kitchen area so we can have um, a bunch of little uh, machines automating our farms and gathering it for us and sending it all to like this middle area where we can do all of our cooking from and that I think would be awesome <laughs> uh, I have been doing the traps I didn't fill them up whoa a little hiccup I didn't fill them up this time um, but and that's another thing I need the the farms for is to make the traps because they use string and they use something like a fruit or a grain or whatever and then that will open these up uh, the the fish ones take string and this ground up the ground fish or normal fish there's no reason to not make the ground fish 
uh, because it basically doubles it. You put a fish in here and you get two ground fish out of it. So it basically doubles it and you get eight bait per fish instead of just four. So that gets me tons of fish. <laughs> Got so these are like fish that has recipes I've never seen before. I'd like to make them and these are just substituted for like the normal raw fish. You can substitute those in any fish recipe. So I've been using those, crushing them down into the ground fish and whatnot. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and come back next time to see what all I get done. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and bye-bye.